Hey, good morning. Does anyone notice anything? Blue skies and the sun shining. It's the weekend again. I think this is going to be our first weekend with beautiful weather. It's supposed to be in the 80s today. But welcome, first time RVers. We're here again, Carolina Pines. When we get back, we're going to take a little walk here. When we get back, I got to do a couple repairs and then we'll get on with our day. Saturday morning to you another weekend at Carolina Pines and another weekend of repairs this time we're gonna work on the coat hooks so even though most of this cabinetry and stuff looks great it's press board with a fake finish to make it look like wood so these have just come right out this one it's not pulling out yet but you can see it just keeps getting loose so what I've done is brought some inserts I'm gonna drill the hole a little bit bigger, put in an insert and put the screws back in. Hopefully that'll hold. Almost anything you do in a camper's gotta be done slightly different. I'm gonna drill these holes out here. And I don't wanna go in too far. On this one here, I could feel I was hitting the back wall and I didn't wanna go into that back wall, so. So by modifying, I mean, I'm gonna just cut the tips off of these, make them a little shorter. So we'll just give them a little snip. Find those little pieces on the ground later. Geez, that one shot over there. Now they're a little shorter and I can hammer them right in. Okay, there we go. Now these screws will fit nice and tight again. There we go. Once again, it's secure. So that's uh, three weekends now we've done some sort of repair. Luckily, this one was only five minutes long. But we have a couple others we gotta do, so I don't know if I'll get to them this weekend. If not, we'll do them the next time we're here. Gotta get everything done though before we head to Destin in a month, I think. Came to Huntington Beach State Park again since we didn't get to spend much time last time here. But we are in the gift shop and it's quite nice. Got a lot to offer. A lot of Huntington Beach t-shirts. Merle's Inlet t-shirts. We're going to go down to that castle and pay to get in there and take a look around. Tell you a little bit about that. Well, I think it took me longer to make that windscreen than I actually used it because I've lost it. I somehow lost it on our walk this morning, but oh well. Wanted to come back to Huntington State Park to see this Adelaide Castle here. We saw it last time, but we had to rush out for that uh, milkshake bar that we ended up not even going to. I think it's cost like three bucks to get in and take a tour, look around. So we're gonna do that now and take you guys along with us. These aren't actually supposed to be lakes here, but that's how much rain there's been in this area lately. So Adelaide is the former winter home of sculptor Anna Huntington and her husband, who was a scholar of Hispanic studies, a businessman, and a poet. So evidently she was diagnosed with tuberculosis and they wanted to find some warmer climate for her. So they found this land here down in South Carolina and built this castle. And then I'm sure ultimately them or their family donated it to the state and now it's a state park. Dawn's already up paying, so uh, let's go inside. There they are. It's a pretty strange looking area. Look. Stables over here, garage over there. So being a sculptor, she had studios, of course. She had this outdoor studio. And then in inclement weather, she had an indoor studio here. We had a nice lady volunteer. I think they're all volunteers here. They kind of do the tours. They don't go inside with you because of COVID, but uh, a lot of good information. This is called the Moorish style. It's like a Spanish style home. It's actually original, all original, she said. They did it in all brick because they had a house burned down from a fire and lost everything. So 
So almost everything is brick, mortar, wrought iron, things like that. Very strange though. I mean, this is part of the indoor of the house. Room of office storage. What is this? Secretary's office. Remember he brought his secretary down. Secretary's office. So Mr. Huntington would bring, um, they would bring a lot of their employees from Connecticut down with them. He would bring his secretary, so this was her office and then this was his office. It almost looks like a prison to me. From the looks of things, we're heading into the bathroom. This is Archer's bathroom. Evidently, he had his own bath. Look at this shower. Seven shower heads. Yeah, look at that. You know, you look at high-end homes today and they have showers with tons of shower heads. Well, in the 30s, he had his bathroom built the same way. All right, we're in the master bedroom now. And there's still existing windows. So shutters and here is Anna's bathroom look at that sink yeah so this was originally her bathroom but it says it was converted into a kitchen for the caretaker my guess is there was a tub probably here well, it looks like there may have been something over there too that would be the top right it says view of the ocean oh. yeah. so we're leaving their wing of the house Here's the secretary's bedroom. Here's the secretary's bathroom. And of course her tub. She had two big beautiful courtyards. Here's one of them. And some more of that wrought iron. Here's the library with which originally I'm sure was an ocean view. Some sort of back patio over here. Now we're heading to the sunroom. They did most of their entertaining in here. They would actually travel down here from Connecticut in a custom made camper that they designed and would bring dogs and monkeys and a McCall with them. And evidently the McCall would stay in this room. It says here that they were very private people so they would entertain a lot, but very rarely did anyone other than their, um, the people that worked for them would stay. They really loved animals, and actually Anna, most of her sculpting would be of animals. And they also bred, what are these, wolfhounds? Wolfhounds. So here's the main entrance, coming from way down there, coming into the foyer. This is, of course, a national landmark now. Here's their breakfast room. Let me show you how much this building is falling. Look at this. They would also hire servants and stuff when they got down here. So they would send like the secretary down ahead of time and she would hire everyone. People to do firewood, cooking, all that kind of stuff, laundry. And now we're gonna enter the wing that they would all stay in. Ooh, look at this hallway. They were, of course, millionaires, and we're talking in the 30s here. She was self-made because she was a sculptor. Her husband actually inherited all his money. His dad was a huge uh, shipbuilder in the Norfolk area of Virginia and also in the railroads, so they had an absolute fortune. So over there is that one courtyard. Here's the second courtyard. And you'd come down this walkway here to get into the front door. Here we go with another scary hallway. Cool. Leads to the servants' quarters. quarters. Yeah, these are just rooms for the servants. Bedrooms for the servants. And then down the right wall is just all storage. The all these rooms are just storage. So once you make it to head housekeeper, you get your own private bath with its own fireplace. Look at the ivy growing up the walls. And they may have been one of the first ones to have an irrigation system. They had water pumped through these canals here 
and then you had areas like this where it was a little bit lower so the water could make its way into the yard i don't know how good that would work considering uh it's about 80 feet into the middle so you can see in the courtyard here this is where the laundry room and stuff was and um all those servants bedrooms i was wrong they're scottish deer hounds not wolf hounds so there's a picture of their custom made camper and here they are she passed in 73 he passed in 50. walking around inside the dog kennel here and i found some mummified deer hound poop or maybe they're just rocks i don't know all right i'm gonna get this mask off no one's around now Whew. try to take some deep breaths i know i've said in many videos before but i just love history it's so neat to see how people lived in the past even if it was only as soon as the 70s she actually still lived here at times but it's pretty neat this was built in the 30s and has survived all this time and has been preserved for people like us to enjoy the end of february Myrtle Beach, Huntington Beach State Park. Look at everyone enjoying the sand and the ocean. Did a lot of filming in that castle there. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to edit it all down. Just kind of hit some highlights so you guys can come see for yourself. So we're heading to get lunch after Huntington Beach State Park. Sorry, I'm on the side of 17. And I think I found the coolest VW bus anyone has ever seen this side of the Mississippi. Maybe even both sides of the Mississippi. Look at this. Is that not cool? Look at that. Have you ever seen a limousine VW bus? Pretty cool. There you have it. We're back at the camper, Adelia Castle at Huntington Beach State Park. Pretty cool place to visit. Not expensive to get in. Plus, Huntington Beach is a great place to be, too, so you can uh, kind of go that way and see them both. All right, well, we're going to wrap up. We'll see you soon again. Okay, we're going to wrap everything up, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.